Hey guys, today I want to talk about some best practices for running Facebook ads to drive traffic to your Spotify profile. If you have been running Facebook ads for a while, maybe you've already done some of these things. If you haven't, you may not even know what I'm talking about. Regardless of which side of things you fall on, whether you're a seasoned vet who's been sending traffic to Spotify using Facebook ads for a while, or you've never set things up, this video is going to apply to both of you. Because if you've been running things for a while, there is a possibility that maybe you haven't done some of these things or you've overlooked some of this, and this could be a good opportunity to sort of refine what you're doing. If you haven't set things up yet, this is gonna be a great video to watch before you get started. That way you make sure you do things the right way the first time around. Now, if you're new here, my name's Tom, and on this channel, we talk about music marketing, branding, business, and a host of other things to help us move from making music as a hobby to making music as a business. And today we're going to talk about five things that I like to pay attention to when building out your Facebook ad platform and experience to make sure that you have things set up the best that they can be. Now, number one, starting off is you need to set up a business manager. I see a lot of artists trying to run ads out of their personal account. Now, when you log into Facebook, once you've set up your business manager and you're inside your ad account, on the left side, you can select a dropdown. And from there, you can see that you have technically two different ad accounts. Now, one of them is actually a personal ad account. When you first get started, you might try running some ads from here. You can run things like engagement and traffic ads and stuff like that. But if you're gonna run conversion ads, you have to have a business account. So since running conversion ads is the best thing you wanna try to get to, it makes sense to go ahead and set up a business ad account. Plus, you're going to be able to set up conversion events, you're going to be able to manage things more effectively, and you're going to be able to scale. So number one, you want to set up a business manager account and start running ads inside of there rather than your personal account. Number two, you want to set up a business page inside of that account. Odds are if you've run ads before from your personal account, you've already got a business page. So you want to connect that business page to your business manager. And what the business manager does is it allows you to manage multiple pages and multiple ad accounts inside of one place. So it's a lot more scalable, as I said before. Number three, once you have your business manager and your business page for yourself as an artist, you wanna have a business ad account. Again, you can run ads from your personal account, but once you set up your business manager, you're going to either need to import your personal account into your business page and business manager, or better, create a new business ad account inside of that business manager. So if you've run ads in the past for a business page from your personal account, you're kind of going to start from scratch here inside the business manager. That's why it's better to go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off and do this sooner rather than later. Because when you do start a new ad account, you're going to be effectively starting from scratch. You're not gonna have all the data that you had in your personal account unless you import that. But importing it brings with it a whole list of headaches that can be very, very difficult to navigate. That's why creating things from scratch inside the business manager is a much stronger play. It's gonna be easier on you and it's just gonna be more convenient for the long term. Number four, once you've set up your business manager, your business page, and your business ad account, you're gonna to have to set up a pixel inside of that ad account. Again, you can have a pixel in your personal account, but having the pixel set up inside of your business account is much better. As I've said a few times, you can import that personal account and connect it to your business account, but creating a new pixel inside of a new ad account is cleaner, it's easier to set up, it's easier to configure. So the best course of action is to go ahead and make the move now if you haven't done so already and set up all of these things fresh and clean inside of this new ad account. And number five, this is the biggest one, and this is kind of a multi-part number five. You only really need one conversion event if you're running ads to send traffic to Spotify. Now, if you have other things going on, if you're trying to sell merch, you're running e-commerce, trying to get mailing list signups and things like that, there are a slew of conversion events you can have. But speaking only to musicians who are trying to run ads to send traffic to Spotify, 
you only need one conversion event. And what you really should try to prioritize is having a standard conversion event. A standard conversion event is going to be your view content event. That's the event that you want to select and use for all of your campaigns if your single priority is driving traffic to Spotify. Now, if you're trying to grow on Instagram, things like that, you're not gonna end up using conversion events for that. But to send traffic off site to a landing page and then to Spotify, you're gonna be running conversion ads. And the best way to do that is to use a standard conversion event. And the best conversion event to use to do that is the view content event. So what you really want is one business manager, one business account, one ad account, one pixel, and one conversion event. Now, if you're in a situation where you can't use a standard event, it's rare, but it does happen. Like say you're using a service like Hyped It where you need to create a conversion event. In that case, you still only want one event, but you can create one custom conversion event that applies to all of your landing pages. Now I'm planning to do a video about that, a follow-up video to this later. And when I do, I will link to it in this video. But when this video drops, that video won't be made. So if you're watching it day of uh, when it comes out, sorry, that link will be there later. <laughs> but you can create one custom conversion event for all of your conversions inside of your ad account. I've seen a lot of people who have like a bird's nest of custom conversions because they've created one for every single song or every single landing page. This is unnecessary. It's too much of a headache and you don't need to put yourself through all that trying to find the correct event. You just need the one conversion event for everything if you're sending traffic to Spotify. So that's the list of five best practices that I have figured out over the last year in running ads. I know I'm telling you what to do in this video, but I'm only doing that because I have gone through the gamut of creating multiple things at all of these levels and gotten all down in the weeds only to discover that simpler is better when it comes to setting this stuff up. If you haven't set things up in the past, it's easy to get in there and start making more than one pixel and start making a bunch of conversion events and things like that. I promise you, it's going to make your life a lot easier if you just make one of each of these things at each step. So again, to recap, one business manager, one business page, one ad account inside of your business manager, one pixel and one conversion event. After that, you can whittle things down by URL and all kinds of different things to create retargeting audiences, to create new audiences, but you just need one of each of those five things and it's going to make your life a lot easier. So that's it for this one. And before I let you go, if you don't subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And at the end here, I've got a couple videos you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.